Next, we're into awareness. The organization shall ensure that persons doing work under the organization's control are aware of, and then there's this little list of things, including the quality policy. This requirement is one where I walk around and share the love. I walk around in, in a place and ask employees what the story is. And it's not just employees. It can be temps. It can be temporary workers. It can be other people that are under the control of the organization. And here's a list of them. My favorite one happens to be the one down here. Who's responsible for promoting customer focus? Because that's one of the things that is a requirement of 5.3, that it be communicated and understood in the organization. And I just want to see if that how, how to what extent that gets communicated. Communication, this is a relatively simple requirement, or it should be. It's basically asking you to come up with a little communication plan. What do you need to communicate? When, with whom, how, and who does the communication? There's no direct requirement in the standard for documented information on communication but many of the required communication activities do require a record. This is a way to capture organizational knowledge also. For example, the environmental guy left the company and no one knew how often he reported to the EPA. And this is also a way to capture requirements of interested parties. Some communication is required and some communication probably needs to be controlled. For example, communication to the press or regulatory officials. Here's some examples of required communications. Monthly progress report given by the plant manager, a performance review given by everybody with direct reports, recall notices given by the quality manager when a product escapes, which you hope doesn't happen, emissions reporting by the environmental manager. Failure modes, there are some failure modes on this. One is having a plan and not sticking with it. If you're plan requires you to communicate to employees four times a year about the status of the objectives and then you don't do it and don't maintain objective evidence of it, it's problematic. Secondly, the point is about keeping records. Not keeping records to prove these communications happens is a potential nonconformance. And thirdly, reliance on email. For example, who keeps email when employees leave the company? There's a information and communication security question on all that.